capital allowances uh, are an important element when we calculate tax adjusted trading profit for individual uh, or as well as for corporations there are few differences when we calculate capital allowances for individual as well as for corporate corporations so first of all when capital allowances are available so capital allowances are available to give tax relief for certain capital expenditure so remember that whenever you purchase any cap capital asset or use any capital asset there are chances that you will get some tax relief on that but capital allowances are not available on all capital expenditure but on certain qualifying plant and machinery so remember that capital allowances are not available for revenue expenditure similarly capital allowances are not available for all capital expenditure but for those capital expenditure which classified as qualifying plant and machinery now when we talk about qualifying plant and machinery like you can get uh, capital allowances on uh, any kind of uh, plant any kind of machinery computers softwares integral feature of buildings and you can you can also get the uh, allowance in terms of uh, building structure or any plant and machinery which is part of uh, the building or integral feature of building will also qualify for uh, capital allowances such as the cooling system which is integral part of building or heating system similarly lifts escalators etc etc now there are three types of uh, capital allowances available usually one is the annual investment allowance that is called aia other is the written down allowance and the next is first year allowance now we have to learn that on what qualifying plant and machinery we can get annual investment allowance or written down allowance or first year allowance now as far as the annual investment allowance is concerned for the tax year 2021 the annual investment allowance will be available for the first 1 million of the qualifying expenditure incurred in a 12 month counting period and you can get 100% of the first 1 million qualifying expenditure what it means it means that if you have, if you have purchased a plant and machinery say suppose it a cost of 1.5 million you will get immediately 1 million as a capital allowance and this 1 million limit is for a 12 month period it means that if the accounting period is of uh, 15 month or a counting period is of 8 months that is a long accounting period or a short accounting period you will get the uh, aia accordingly means for a short accounting period the limit will be reduced and for a long accounting period that would be more than 1 million as per the 15 month period so you can see that if the accounting period is of 9 month then 1 million into 9 by 12 and the resulting aia is now 7 lakh 50000 so if you have purchased any asset above 7 lakh 50000 you will get 7 lakh 50000 immediately as an annual investment allowance and important thing is that an aia is available on the purchase of all plant and machinery but there is an exception and that is the motor car so aia is never available on motor car but if you purchase a delivery vehicle then it is available on delivery vehicle but for motor car any kind of motor car 
the capital allowances are not available. After claiming the annual investment allowance, any expenditure in excess of that will qualify for a written down allowance. And you have to see accordingly uh, in which column we have to transfer the remaining value. So for example, say suppose we have purchased a plant having cost of say suppose 1.5 million. So in, in, immediately we can get 1 million of annual allowance and the remaining 500,000 is eligible for the written down allowance. And on the subsequent use of that asset, annually you will get a WDA allowance, written down allowance. But first of all, you have to understand that the excess amount is to be transferred to a certain column, to a certain pool. And we have two uh, pool in which we can transfer the value of asset. One is called the general pool, another is called the special pool. You might get some journal pool item or you might can get some special pool item. But if you are concerned plant and machinery is part of journal pool item, then you can get 18% per annum WDA each year. And it is in the first year as well as in the subsequent year. So for example, in the above example, the 500,000 will qualify for 18% allowance, that is 90,000, assuming that particular asset was a part of journal pool. Later on, we will discuss that, how we can classify an item as a special pool item or a journal pool item. So we have no classification of journal pool item, rather we can classify if it is a special pool item, then through it in the special pool, otherwise it will, it will be part of journal pool. And what is the difference in special pool and journal pool? The rate of WDA is only 6% for a 12 month period. An important thing is that this 12 month period is also to be time apportioned as per short period of account, as well as for a long period of account. So for example, if our accounting period is more than 12 months, say suppose it's a 15 month period, then you can apply it accordingly, 50,000 multiplied by 18%, it's for 12 months, then multiply it by 15 and divide it by 12, you will get the required figure. So WDA will be time apportioned where the accounting period is other than 12 months, which might be a short accounting period as well as a long accounting period. Now, first year allowance, the third type of allowance. As we have already discussed that car is not available for AIA. So whenever you purchase car or use car, you will get either WDA or first year allowance, no AIA. So when you can get the first year allowance, if you have purchased a new car, having carbon dioxide emission up to 50 gram per kilometer. That would attract a 100% first year allowance immediately. For example, the car cost you 10,000 pound and it is a low emission car that is up to 50 gram. Then you can claim a first year allowance immediately as 10,000. This first year allowance is never time apportioned as compared to the timing of purchase of asset or short accounting period or long accounting period. It is fixed. Whatever is the price of the car, you can get the full 100% allowance immediately. This first year allowance might be uh, time apportioned or might be apportioned for the business portion because the capital allowances are only available against the business use of the asset. If someone is using partly an asset for business use or a partly for private use, then the concerned allowance will only be available against the business use. 
this is the list of the rates and other things which you can get in the exam uh, as a uh, tax and allowance sheet. You can see that we have been given as plant and machinery. We have a main pool. We have a special pool. And these rates I have already covered. So this is an annual investment allowance. This is the first year allowance. You can see. Now, as far as the motor car is concerned, you can see here the motor car it has been classified into three categories. You can see motor car up to 50 gram per kilometer, one category that is up to 50 gram. Another category is 51 till 110 gram. And the next category is 100 more than 110 gram. So according to this CO2, we can see that if a car is up to 50 gram per kilometer, you will get immediately 100% first year allowance. But if a car is in between 51 and 110 gram per kilometer, this car will be part of a journal pool or main pool. And you will then get a WDA of 18% per annum. And similarly, if the car CO2 is more than 110 gram per kilometer, it will be always part of a spatial pool and it would attract a WDA of 6% per annum. So accordingly, the plant and machinery would attract an uh, uh, allowance of uh, 1 million of AIA except cars. And then subsequently, the WDA of either 18% or 6%. But as far as car is concerned, you have to check the carbon dioxide emission rate. And as per the carbon dioxide emission rate, it, you can you can get first year allowance. You can get uh, the normal WD of either 18% or 6%. So we will work according to a format. And this is the type of format. This look like this. First of all, there will be a main pool or a journal pool. Then it will be a second column, then a special pool. And two extra column, we will add it uh, further. And then a final column that is the allowance column. Allowance column will be the final column. Now, if you have any opening balance, then it is text written down value brought forward. Write it down. And then if there is any addition, so we can use that addition. And for example, uh, whatever is the value, uh, for example, it's a plant that is uh, eligible for AIA, then what we can do is we'll claim AIA to the maximum limit that is 1 million and the rep leftover amount is to be transferred to the main pool or a special pool as per the category. And this 1 million is to be transferred in the allowance section. And if there is no further addition or disposal, then at the end of the day, you have to make it the total 500,000. And then you have to claim WDA of 18% on this. And that is 90,000 and transfer this 90,000 into allowance section. Now calculate the tax written down value carried forward. That is the closing balance for the next year and calculate the total allowance. And that is 1090000. So this is a kind of uh, a format uh, which depends on the information in the question. But the basic thing is that you have to work by column by column approach. And the ultimate important column is the allowance section that that answer is needed. Now, for example, assuming we have been given a brought forward value of a main pool item, suppose it's 60,000 and we have addition during the tax year. The date of purchase of asset is of no use for us. If any asset is purchased within the tax year, we have to consider uh, it uh, for the capital allowance calculation. So for example, 
a plant is purchased at a cost of 1.2 million and a motor car is purchased at a cost of 200,000 having CO2 of 60 gram per kilometer and we have to calculate capital allowances. As opening balance has been given, so this is not the first year. So let's create a format. First of all, the general pool, and there is no need for any other column in this example. Now we have TWDV brought forward available, that is 60,000. Now show it here the addition and that addition qualify for AIA that plant is worth 1.2 million. Now how much AIA is available? The limit is 1 million. So you can claim 1 million AIA assuming it's a 12 month accounting period. So as a result, the excess value is transferred to the journal pool. And how much is to be transferred to the allowance account? It's 1 million. Now, after that, we have purchased a car having carbon dioxide rate of 60 gram per kilometer. And as per carbon dioxide rate, it is to be transferred to main pool or journal pool. That is 200,000. Now at the end of the year, we have to count the total and we have to apply the written down allowance that is 18% per annum. So seventy two thousand is the allowance value. And now the TWDV closing balance is three lakh twenty eight thousand. And we have the total allowance available. This is the total allowance. Let's discuss another example. This question says that we have TWDV brought forward of the main pool is 250000 and then we have purchased a plant at a cost of 500000 on which AIA is available. Then we have a car uh, having CO2 of 40 gram per kilometer. This car is eligible for a first year allowance. Then we have another car that is 120 gram and that 120 gram says that it's, it's a special pool item. So we have to calculate capital allowance. So Let's move to the format. So in this example, we have a main pool item. We have a special pool item and allowance section. First of all, the TWDV brought forward value of the main pool and that is given as 250,000. Now we have addition. First one is plant having cost of 500,000 as the limit of capital allowance uh, AIA is 1 million. So it means that whole value we can claim in this year as AIA. And then no amount will be transferred to journal pool. Now we have car having CO2 of 40 gram costing 25,000 and this car attract full 25,000 first year allowance 
transfer this into the allowance section. Then we have purchased another car with 120 gram and the cost is 120,000. Now see, this is 120 gram, so it will be part of a special pool. Now, we have to calculate the total of each column. So we have uh, 250,000 in main pool, 120,000 in special pool. And now we have to calculate the respective WDA that is 18% on main pool and 6% per annum on special pool. So we have to calculate the respective WDA so 250 that is uh, 45000 transfer it to the main allowance section and 120 into 6 percent that is 7200 so finally the closing balances are here So 250 minus 45. And we have uh, allowance of uh, 500,000, then 25,000. So it's 525 then 45 and then so it's 577200 so this is the total allowance now another question now in this example the accounting period is of 9 month year ended 31st December 2000. So it's a short accounting period. The TWD we brought forward for the main pool is given as 50,000. We have purchased a plant at a cost of 8,50,000 and a car having CO2 of 80 gram. That is a main pool item. Calculate capital allowances. Let's prepare the format. So we have main pool and the allowance section and we have TWDV brought forward in the main pool 50,000. Now there is an addition and plant costing 8,50,000. Now usually the AIA is available at 1 million expenditure. Now in this case the AIA we have to check that how much AIA is available and the limit is now reduced due to the short accounting period. And the limit is 7,50,000. So as the limit is now only 7,50,000 and the expenditure is above 7,50,000. So that means only 7,50,000 is eligible as AIA. And the excess amount is to be transferred to the main pool. Another addition is car, which is 80 gram, 100,000. So directly transfer this car, 100,000 in the main pool. Now total main pool balance is now 250,000. Now, as it's a short accounting period, so WDA is available 18, but it is to be time apportioned as nine by 12. So, 2,50,000 into 18% and it's 33,750. So in this way, the total of the pool is 216250 and the allowance total is 783750 
now let's discuss that uh, how we can classify certain items to be part of a special rate pool so these are the items which uh, if you see in the question that would always be part of a special rate pool one is the integral feature of building any plant and machinery which is the integral feature of building such as for example you can take an example of uh, lifts moving walkways heating system cooling system generators etc etc similarly long life assets thermal insulation of building high emission car which we have already covered that is 110 g per kilometer so what is integral feature of building it includes lifts escalators electrical and general lighting systems cold water systems space or water heating system system of ventilations air cooling or purification so anything which classified as the integral feature of a building now what is the definition of long life assets an assets when new with an expected economic working life of 25 years or more at least 25 years when total expenditure based on a 12 month accounting period exceeds 100000 it means there are two condition one is related with the life and it should be at least 25 years and the second is the expenditure that your expenditure above 100000 in order to classify it as a long life asset and that long life asset is always a part of a special pool item so the four items integral feature of building long life asset thermal insulation of building if any expenditure have been incurred on the installation of thermal insulation of a building then it would be classified as a special rate pool and similarly the high emission car now what is the difference between the special rate pool and the mean pool so first of all the difference is of wda one having wda of 18% other is having a wda of 6% now if in the question there are two plant and machinery one is qualified as general pool item other is a special rate pool item then uh, both the assets will attract an aia but the aia for the whole year is only 1 million so the question is on which asset aia is to be claimed now in this situation we will consider the most beneficial way we will see the most beneficial way most beneficial use and if we will consider the most beneficial use then always apply in the order as aia in the order of first against the special pool and then on journal pool why why we have creating this because the wda is only 6% in case of a special rate pool so it is better to use aia against special pool and wda against the journal pool in order to maximize the written down allowance in order to maximize the overall capital allowance figure now in this question we have an accounting year end of uh, 12 months that is 31st december up to 12 months and we have been given two values that is uh, twd we brought forward journal pool and special pool and during the year we have some addition one is the acquisition of long life asset which is a part of a special pool item another is journal machinery and then a car having co2 of 30 g per kilometer eligible for first year allowance 
so we have to calculate the capital allowance figure so let's just uh, make the columns one is the journal pool and a special pool because opening balances are given and then allowances so we have twd we brought forward of both the columns 100000 and 50000 and there is an addition that is uh, long life asset costing 125000 now see there are two assets one is the long life asset eligible for aia other is the machinery which is also eligible for aia but the limit is 1 million and uh, as per the preferable order i will choose the aia against the long life asset because it is most beneficial so in this way the aia that is the full 100 1 million is being utilized against the long life asset and the residual amount is transferred into the special pool now we have uh, journal machinery having cost of uh, 500000 so you have to show it as no aia available why because it has been already utilized against the long life asset so the whole value is to be transferred to the journal pool then we have purchased a 30 gram per kilometer car having cost 60000 eligible for first year allowance the 100 percent 60 value 60000 and then transfer this uh, to the allowance section afterwards we have to identify the total 600000 and uh, 300000 now the annual wda 18% per annum on main pool item and 6% per annum on special pool item so 600000 into 18% that is due to claiming the eia on special rate pool item first we have more amount available in the main pool so it can attract 18% but if we use eia against the journal pool item first then the remaining item will be part of special pool and it will only attract 6% wd this is the reason why we use the special pool item first against eia and then journal pool total of allowance so it's uh, 1 million aia 60000 first year allowance two wdas so the entire total is 1 2 